Yeah, stop paying attention. Just beat him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, what's up, Tier from Nation 3? The Tier from Munster here again. We're back with Classroom with the Elite Season 3. Or, Yokoso Jichiriko Shijoshi Gini Kyoshi Tsue Third Season. So, uh, yeah, the mic is somehow better because I went to Discord and just uh, through voice chat, all of a sudden the mic is no longer super loud and it's not, you know broken or anything but uh yeah i don't know why but for some reason the mic is much better now so yeah it's weird anyway uh maybe discord is the key to fixing my mic <laughs> anyway take a look at my uh things here on my channel like what the hell classroom of the elite season 3 episode 1 reaction did pretty well but if you compare it to my other episode reactions or other classroom of the elite videos you can clearly see that all of them all of the videos i've made are better than my episode one reaction keep in mind the episode reactions are important because if they are you know received very well received 1000 views in which all of the other videos reached and 50 likes in which all of the other videos reached you know you will have a giveaway from me you know, I'll create a giveaway for year two volume one. As I said, I promise that. So I don't know if you guys want me to give away a, a light novel so that you guys can read ahead. But um, interestingly enough, uh, no one's actually liking my episode one reaction that much. But uh, yeah, all in all, though, I, uh, I think uh, it'll be the same for this episode two reaction. But my PV reaction for episode two actually did pretty well. That received 2,000 views like in just a few days. Unlike my episode one reaction, it's all it's already a week and it's less than a thousand views, <laughs> which is weird. Anyway, I'm in a bit of a hurry because I have school tomorrow. It's terrible, and at the same time, we have report for tomorrow as well. So um, yeah, <laughs> like I said, they will end this book volume right here. They adapted to 220 pages, and yeah. I am not kidding. They adopted 220 pages. They skipped the T-Rex scene. I don't much care. I mean, if it, if they didn't skip it, that's a treat. But if they still didn't adapt that, if they still didn't animate that, that's also fine because that was just fan service, pure fan service, not related to the story at all. Uh, clearly enough, uh, Studio Lurch is adapting most of the uh, important and crucial parts of the story, although they cut out some parts. And at the same time. Um, remember my PV reaction on episode 2? I said that Tachibana was the leader, but I might be misremembering it. Uh, I think there's a leader in her group, but that leader dragged down Tachibana with her. So, yeah, that's why Tachibana is gonna get expelled. So, sorry for spoilers right off the bat, you know, because it's not airing yet. I mean, I'm still, you know, waiting for it in like two hours as you can see on my uh, screen <laughs> it premieres in two hours so um yeah anyway let's just jump right into this let's see how this final test results are going to be like and then we'll enter volume nine in episode three so um yeah i just want peak adaptations of episode i mean volume 10 11 and 11.5 maximum at volume 11 would be episodes uh four four episodes and then vo volume 11.5 would be two episodes i think that's how they'll do it and then volume 10 will be three episodes so the thumbnail of musasia it's the uh, the preview of uh episode two the asahina and the Koji talk so um yeah like i said they changed things from the light novel in the anime based on the preview ayana koji found her charm within the training camp but in uh in the light novel in volume 7.5 ayana koji found the charm outside of their dorm and then he just returned it to asahina anonymously uh to her dorm so that's why they got to have like this connection it's like in the light novel he, he planted it 
and that's why they're gonna go from there so um yeah it looks like he he planted it but um yeah that's why in the light novel it's it seems like the story is paving its way already unlike in the anime they're they're just gonna do it instantaneously so yeah i'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm just saying that there's changes okay so as a light novel reader i still enjoy the anime like i said episode one was decent it was well paced it was super rushed if you read the light novel okay it was super super rushed they didn't explain the the exam very much and uh yeah they didn't get to uh adapt the uh the forming of group uh the group forming and um yeah the nagumo and koenji talk as well that's where nagumo actually sees koenji as a threat unfortunately it's what we get so yeah anyway um let's see how this goes and also at the same time on my episode one reaction there's there's this one dude that actually commented i already said this before but uh yeah there's that one dude that commented that my reaction looks fake well sad to say that i actually don't do fake reactions so um yeah <laughs> anyway yeah because based on his uh, comment, knowing the story means reaction is fake. So I don't know what's the basis of that. I mean, as a source material reader, wouldn't it be a treat for us to see the visuals, the animations? Because these are just purely words. Purely words. No visuals whatsoever. There's only a few illustrations and that's it. We have to imagine the scenarios. So I don't know what that dude said <laughs> watch your profanity like i'm so triggered by that because the dude is so one-sided based on the word reaction so yeah he's one-sided on it he's too immature to be a part of the uh the community so yeah i blocked him already so bye bye <laughs> <laughs> uh let's just jump right into this so before we begin please drop a like comment share and subscribe turn the post only so they don't miss out any five future producers drop us on the channel sorry for the long ass intro once again at the same time go check out my full reactions on my google drive link for free for now but i will post them on patreon right after i create a patreon account because people have been you know requesting me to do a patreon so that they can actually watch my full exclusive reactions that i can't put out on youtube because most of the time you know i deleted them just like attack on 10 reaction videos 86 reaction videos i just deleted them because there's no point in leaving them here on my computer at the same time i don't have enough space for that because there's a lot of things that i need to do create videos for so um yeah if you want to support me on patreon and see my full reactions go ahead i'm not gonna force you to support me on patreon but if you do support me on patreon i'm super grateful so yeah but for now uh there's no patreon yet but i will soon enough but uh yeah i think at the end of january or probably february somewhere around there so um yeah that's when i can actually do patreon because there's like a week break from our college so yeah anyway with that being said without further ado without further delay let's get right into it interruption i will now do this weekly by the way so we cannot forget the comment of the week all right let's see um yeah let's find some really really great comments on uh on my episode one reaction all right let's see it okay from at prominence i replied to him as well i'm fully caught up with the light novels of clash of the elite i think episode one was very good i don't mind if they rush volumes eight to nine i just want 10 11 11.5 done right hoping maybe they make one of the episodes an hour long but who knows i personally think the anime is a good adaptation but that's just me thank you for the comment and i really do appreciate it and also i do agree that volume 8 was pretty mid to me it was pretty boring it was a boring read to me and uh yeah volume 9 was okay i think it was decent but then after the recent events of year 2 i think it was just trash now <laughs> yeah and then volume 10 peak 11 peak 11.5 peak so yeah i'm with you on that one i just want good adaptation from those volumes so yeah that's the comment of the week and i really do appreciate everyone's comment but uh yeah the the intro is very long right now it's already like eight minutes long more than eight minutes long so yeah hope you all enjoyed my reaction of flash of the elite don't forget to like the video here we go we're here okay man is wolf to man 
interesting. That's true, though. Beware of wild boars. <laughs> My man, Koenji being a Giga Chad once again. <laughs> high ground! I have the high ground. <laughs> I have the high ground! I mean, it's superhuman. Yeah, you can go right here. Damn. Yeah, Ishizaki's being an a-hole right here. Good question! Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Ayana Koji was the one. Yeah, he's the one who insisted. Yeah, he knows. He has a hunch. <laughs> Wait, did this happen in the light novel? <laughs> I forgot. Yes, that's the line. And I still remember that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna say it. Yes! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> yes, he's not. Yes! Damn, they caught up Ichinose's part? Damn. Well, damn. <laughs> Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, we got the credits now. By the way, if you wanna see the creditless versions, it's in the drive link as well, so yeah. Oh yeah, I already heard the ED. I can't I couldn't wait any longer. But I totally forgot. I still remember that it goes energetic. Like, uh, everybody. Yeah, I remember that. Chichir yuku shuki. Odore minor piece. Suku tsukara ta ta ta. Kono te no hirate. Banger opening. My favorite one, honestly. Asahi no sempo. Oh, here we go. This is the scene. Ah, uh, okay. So that's the, that's the play. All right. Oh, it's on their phone. That's the, that's the play that they're doing right now? All right. ありがとう。まさか君が拾ってくれるなんてね。張り切った先輩との<笑><笑> なるほど。それも一つの手かもしれませんね。冗談だよ。いや、頭。冗談だ。いや、だサークルなんだ、ナゴ。いで、シデスラップヒム。フレンドリー。やっぱり困りますか。ビングセリアス。うん。ナゴ
weird looking at him. Oh yeah, they are sharing their stories. Oh, wow, I'm glad they didn't cut this out. Even though I don't remember that much, it's very, you know, friendly that we're actually seeing it animated. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I do remember that part of Yukimura saying that. Yeah. Yeah. He thought, yes, exactly. Yeah. I remember that dialogue from Yukimura. Was, yeah. Yeah, he felt useless in that moment. And now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad that they animated this. They adapted this scene. Yeah, I do remember that Yukimura actually cried about that. <laughs> because he felt responsible. Because he's dragging them down. He feels like he's the burden. <laughs> yeah, Erkoji was just listening. Hey, yo, Albert, without the glasses, can we see? <laughs> Too much. Too much to ask. I guess. <laughs> yeah, Ishizaki being a bro now. <laughs> yeah. 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 <笑>いい心がけだね、不良君。明日の駅伝について<笑><笑><笑> Yeah, I'm glad that they, you know, they're actually caring for these characters. I I'm glad about that studio, Lurch. Thank you. Like, they didn't cut out so much. <laughs> Sorry. We all know you. Stop the cap! Yeah! You ran so much in... <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> is this the end? Okay. I yeah, I was about to say, where's Tachibana's scene? Huh? <laughs> yeah, uh... <laughs> exchange. Glance. There you go. Yes! <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, because... He wanted K to watch over Tachibana as well. あしたの試験が不安なのか。私が不安なのは堀北君のことです。あの男に不安なんてある。What <笑> I feel so bad for Tachibana in this volume. <laughs> uh-huh. Sure, Tachibana. We all know you're in big trouble. Yeah, we're almost at the midpoint now. See? They are gonna finish volume 8. This is almost the midpoint. And the book was like more than half now. More than half of what I just showed you on my PV reaction of the episode 2. Ryuen. And Hashimoto talking. Yep. Hashimoto to Ryuen. Hmm. Why did you step down, Ryuen? <laughs> what? Did they... I gotta reread volume 8 on that scene, particular scene. Wait, there's a thing like that as well? I don't remember volume 8 that much, okay? I, as I told you, I was pretty bored in reading this. 
Eh? Come on, man. Albert. <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> Whoa! That was fun. <laughs> that was fun seeing animated. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. <laughs> Alright, bro. Come on, you're my bro. You're my man. I'm glad that they made a bond. In just one episode, by the way. They showed it pretty well, I must say. Gotta get props. On that simple talk on that scene, that solidifies their friendship. And I'm glad that they adapted that well. There we go. They're actually adapting this. Come on. There you go. Now time for the flash. <laughs> oh, the OST again. You don't remember that scene from episode six? Oh, Koenji's the last one. Oh. Oh! <laughs> of course, off screen. Obviously. <laughs> I knew it. It's the end. The end of volume eight. I'm glad though, they rushed it. Because <laughs> I'm so bored in Volume 8. <laughs> to be honest. And not, no hard feelings, okay? Family. Hey! I got family. Hmm. Oh no. Tachibana. Sasuga this. I knew you were going to say that! Uh-huh. Look, look beside you. Yep. Is that her? Oh. Oh. So that's her. And then she's gonna drag down Tachibana. Oh. Yes. She is gonna drag Tachibana down. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Oh, I knew it. I, I misremembered that because I do remember that someone was dragging Tachibana down, so Tachibana wasn't the leader. Oh. Tachibana. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 But Manabu really cares about Tachibana, so of course. Damn. Yeah, I was like, bro, this guy's a bitch. <laughs> and plus, his voice is so. Ah! Oh. What's crazy is that they're over the moon for Nagumo. Like, they, they would fail themselves just for him. That's what I really なるもの悪意の勝利。堀北学部にとって立花は必ずしも必要な駒ではないはずだ。お前は立花が退学する前提で話を進めているようだな。With yeah. class A's union? They won't let Tachibana get expelled. Yes. And that's why I was like, okay, this solidifies that Manabu really does care for Tachibana a lot. Yeah, for someone like her, you know? Look at him. Yeah, class A's union. Yeah. They'll rise up again. Yes! That's Manabu! Oh, I love his... I love, I love the man so much, bro. 
ナグモだけではなかったということかよくあんな作戦できたなって感じ私があのイカリって先輩なら退学になるなんて絶対ごめんだけど<笑>少なくともイカリは退学にはならない立花あかねと同じだ大量のポイント支出による退学救済、yeah. その肩代わりはナグモが約束したはず2年生はナグモのもとで一枚岩だ、yeah. 全員から集めれば安い買い物、yeah. 対して一クラスで賄わなくちゃならない堀北学ぶは、yep. 大ダメージと言える、yep. <sighs> すごいめちゃくちゃな戦い方 It is pretty unfair. それがナグモミヤビの戦い方な、yeah. んだろうな OK、バイケイもし私が同じ状況になったらその時はどうすることお前を退学にはさせない yep. どんな手を使う Oh, I love that shot、uh, oh. oh, I love that shot of K as well Yo, student alert cooked Someone cooked here This episode is actually high quality once again If I see another Complained about this episode. Oh, here we go. ED time. <laughs> I gotta say, so far, that ED, the visuals and everything, ha was so good. And at the same time, this episode, once again, is high quality. Studio Lurch did not back down, they went all out with this episode once again. It's all high quality. Especially the end of the exam, you can tell the high quality of the animations right there, the art styles. Holy crap, the visuals are insane. Especially the lighting. The lighting, oh, Studio Lurch is, you know, you know, the one thing that I can praise for Studio Lurch is the lighting. Remember episode 12 of season 2? We were kind of in a mixed feeling, you know, because they changed it from rooftop to construction site. But then, as, we, as I got to see the episode, I like the atmosphere a lot more than it was in the rooftop scene because that gives off the vibe, okay, in the construction site. Like isolated, so yeah, in a dark room. And that's where Studio Lurch shined, you know. The lighting is their, you know, best, you know, in terms of animation, art style, quality, visuals. So yeah, anyway, as I said, we are now entering volume 9 in episode 3. So I was right. <laughs> I knew it! It's only two episodes! So, yeah, I'm. You know what? I'm fine. I am totally fine, you know, with how they dealt with、uh, Volume 8 because <sighs> Volume 8 was so boring to me, alright? Until the later half of the volume, it's not boring. But, like, yeah, as you can tell from my episode 1 reaction, it was well paced, but, like, super rushed. They left out some. Things that I really didn't like them cut out. So,、um, yeah, anyway. But at the same time, I loved that they paced it well, but rushed. You know, because, like, I was so bored. Okay, reading Volume 8 on the first half was so boring. And then the second half of Volume 8, it was just good. You know? Especially the Koenji part. That's when I told you guys that,、um, yeah, this is much better. You know, Episode 2 was paced better. <laughs> Then episode one. So, once again, they rushed it, but at the same time, it's paced well at the same time. So, you get right. Okay, as a light novel reader, this is still a treat for me. So, yeah, I'm not complaining. So, yeah,、um, I, I can't wait to see Twitter and、um, Facebook and other social medias, you know, and、uh, flaming <laughs> Studio Lurch again. Um, but I'm not hating Studio Lurch this time. And I'm not, I'm not super critical about this, you know, because when I see something that's so good, then I'll praise it, you know? And that's what Studio Lurch did in this episode again. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.